New legislation in New Jersey is proposing that all newborns be tested for congenital heart disease. As it awaits the nod from Governor Chris Christie, Lisa Wojcicki speaks with medical experts. Newborns go through numerous tests when they enter the world, and now the state Senate and Assembly unanimously want to see a pulse oximetry test on that list. It's basically a little monitor that you put on top of a finger or on a toe in a baby, and that measures the oxygen level in the bloodstream. So it tells us instantly whether this baby's um, heart is working well enough to push blood through the um, lungs and to become, um, get oxygen. And it tells us if the lungs are working well enough to bring the oxygen um, into the body. The test is one way medical experts can detect congenital heart disease, or CHD, after birth. CHD is a structural defect in the heart. Assemblyman Jason O'Donnell from the 31st District has a son who survived the defect. He helped sponsor the bill. The main issue is um, because the babies go home so quickly now compared to years ago when they would be here for four or five days, a lot of the defects that uh, show up show up after 48 hours. So what, hap what would happen is the babies would go home and then would crash and uh, come back in you know, seriously ill. Dr. Kaufman says about 9 in 1,000 babies are born with congenital heart disease. So each year at Morristown Medical Center, they see about 25 to 30 newborns with heart defects. About 4,000 babies are born here at Morristown Medical Center every year. It's a particularly large hospital with its own children's hospital, and it has its own pediatric cardiology department. Here we have a very, um, very strong maternal fetal medicine program, and they do the screening of the fetus at 20 weeks, and they're very good at picking up congenital heart disease. That's why both Dr. Kaufman and Dr. Loframento say the legislation would probably be more beneficial to smaller hospitals who don't have an on-site pediatric cardiology department. If you're in another hospital where they don't have that, that's going to seriously delay these babies going home. And even our babies here, um, if they are about to go home, we're going to have to wait and make sure that we can get cardiology to come. So there is going to be a time factor, there's going to be a cost factor. Both doctors point out requiring the pulse oximetry test is a double-edged sword. There is a number that are false positives, so that um, what would happen is you would have a low oxygen reading on the machine, but the baby didn't have heart disease. So I think that actually most of the things that I would see, they have a normal pulse ox. So having a normal one does not rule out having congenital heart disease. And having an abnormal one doesn't mean that there definitely is something wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's not the most uh, specific and sensitive test that um, is available. Dr. Lofermento says she remains unconvinced that this will achieve the results that are intended. The legislation is to save lives, and I just have not seen the evidence presented that this will do that. If the law is passed, it would make New Jersey the first state to mandate it. The bill is still awaiting Governor Chris Christie's signature. Reporting at Morristown Medical Center for WMBC News, I'm Lisa Wojtyki. And also to note, the hospital recently received a name change from Morristown Memorial Hospital to its new handle, Morristown Medical Center.